2017 might have been Nintendo's best year ever. The Switch started off the year as a huge success, and the huge games kept coming along with it. It seemed like every month there was a new major game coming to the Switch. But in 2018, that pouring out of games has ended, and there have been almost no big titles this year. Of course, the year is still young, and there could certainly be games that come out in the second half of the year, and new Super Smash Bros. and Pokemon games are set to release in the second half. But the first half of 2018 had had pretty much nothing big from Nintendo, and that might be a bad sign for things to come. Hello all 320 of you, I'm Redquan, and the first half of 2018 was pretty bad for the Nintendo Switch. This topic makes me sound super negative, so I'll lighten the mood with a dumb joke. Why did Nintendo cross the road? To get to the other... Mario? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, back to negativity. What we've gotten the first half of 2018 is pretty mediocre. We've gotten almost nothing from big third parties, which is one part, but the main thing is that Nintendo has given us hardly anything new. Every single thing is either a port or a pretty small game. Besides ports, the only things we've gotten from Nintendo through the first half are Kirby Star Allies, a fairly small 2D platformer, and Mario Tennis Aces, a Mario spin-off sports game, which is also on the smaller side. I'm not expecting Nintendo to give us their best stuff early in the year. I understand that games like Super Smash Bros. and Mario are better off as games for the holidays. And I also get that a game like Breath of the Wild coming so early on was an exception because it was a title made for the Switch's launch. But to get this selection is pretty disappointing. When you look at the first half of 2017, in the first four months after the Switch was released, we got Breath of the Wild, 1-2 Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and ARMS. And in the first six months of 2018, we've gotten Kirby Star Allies, Mario Tennis Aces, and a few ports. Sure, Breath of the Wild was a launch game, like I mentioned. 1-2 Switch is a pretty small game, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is technically a port too. I still think this first half is significantly weaker. Yes, Breath of the Wild was a launch game, but they kept up the constant releases throughout most of the first year, and I think it was sort of expected that that would continue. Plus, this is only over a four month period rather than six, so there would have likely been at least a few other big games if the Switch launched in January. 1-2 Switch was a smaller game, and maybe not the best example to argue that the Switch had some fantastic games, but Kirby Star Allies and Mario Tennis Aces are also pretty small games, and 1-2 Switch launched alongside Breath of the Wild so that month was already definitely covered. And Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was a port, and I don't especially like defending Switch ports because, oh wow, they are really out of hand. But it did change a decent amount, and it's Mario Kart. It's not like a Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze port where you just get the same experience. Mario Kart is different because of the different ways the races go, and it's much more replayable. So I think it's a lot more forgivable. Seriously though, no more ports. Please, stop the madness. So even in just four months instead of six months, and considering the situations, I still think the first half of last year had a lot more for the Switch than the first half of this year. And like I said, the second half should kick things in, and 2018 should end up being a pretty good year for the Switch, but the way the first half of the year went brings up a question. Is this a bad sign for the Switch going forward? One of the biggest complaints people had with the Wii U was its game droughts, long stretches without much to play. And after the first year, we all kinda just assumed that that was over. Nintendo will always be able to crank out a game a month. That's totally sustainable at their level of quality. If Red Quan could put out two piles of garbage a week, Nintendo can make a huge game every month, no problem. They've figured out life. Sadly though, it looks like that isn't really true. Even though Nintendo can focus almost all their efforts on the Switch, first half of 2018 was almost like a Wii U game drought. Two new small games and a few ports isn't exactly what most people expected after getting new titles slammed in our faces like every month last year. And this is the second year, a year where big titles are a big deal, and where it's still very important to have consistent releases. What about in the later years of the Switch, when new games aren't needed as quickly? Will this short stretch of not much from Nintendo in the first half of 2018 mean that late in the Switch's life there will be more longer game droughts? Hopefully not. And I would guess Nintendo has it under control enough that it doesn't get too bad. And with almost all Nintendo developers working on the Switch, it won't get as bad as it was at some point on the Wii U. But I suppose some longer time in between games is definitely possible. It was nice to have so many games in the first year, but I guess that pace would have been really hard to keep up with. And the first half of the year was a bit disappointing, but hopefully it'll really pick back up later in the year. And we'll get some great stuff to play in the end of 2018. I just hope that 6 month stretches where we only get 2 new, small Nintendo games aren't something we see at the beginning of every year, and that's one of those things that really scares me about all these Wii U ports. 
Nintendo clearly treats them like new games, but to their biggest fans who played their games on the Wii U, there really isn't a whole lot new to play. Maybe I'm just dragging on at this point. Probably am. The first half of 2018 for the Nintendo Switch was pretty bad. We only got two small games from Nintendo, and the rest of the stuff was either ports or smaller indie type stuff. It was only half a year, and the second half does look decent for stuff coming to the console, but I hope that this doesn't mean game droughts will become much more common, seeing as the first year had so many great games coming out consistently. Well, I'm Red Kwan. What do you think about the first half of 2018 for the Switch? Do you think I was way too negative about something that really isn't very important at all, and that I'm just running out of E3 material? You know me too well. Anyways, I'm Red Kwan, thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you all later. Goodbye.